we're going to update the bootloader on the Raspberry Pi 4. The bootloader on the Pi 4 is stored on the EEPROM chip. First thing we need to do is connect to our Raspberry Pi. If you use the graphical interface, you can go ahead and boot up your Pi and use keyboard and mouse to interact with it. In this case, I'm going to show you how to log into the Raspberry remotely over SSH. We're going to log in with the Pi account. The default password is Raspberry. If you're using the graphical interface, go ahead and open up a terminal and you'll get to this same point. Now that we're in the terminal, we're going to use the RPI EEPROM update software to perform the update. At first, you may want to see if you need an update. To do this, run sudo RPI EEPROM update. In this case, this Pi is already updated, so we see that the current and the latest edition are the same. But if those were different, you could go ahead and install the latest update by running the exact same command, sudo RPI EEPROM update, but add the dash A option. This would update the software to the latest version. It's worth noting that you want to perform RPI EEPROM update from Raspberry OS. It's technically possible to install RPI EEPROM update on other operating systems and perform the update from those, but your results may vary. You can do this by having an extra SD card and just keep Raspberry OS on your extra card, and then you can use your regular operating system, say Debian or Kali or whatever other version that you're running on your Raspberry, on a second SD card that you swap out when you're done performing the EEPROM update. 